Greetings and salutations, everybody. Um, and I do mean everybody. Um, this is going to be a collective reading. Um, that means for all signs, for everyone, uh, for the April 7th full moon in Libra. And so I, uh, I figured that it might be a good idea to do, like, kind of an overall, because we are, for one of the rare times in history, you know, all connected, very much so, in this experience. And, you know, um, I also find it kind of interesting that, um, that my quarantine has been started on the new moon and will be finished uh, on the full moon. That's when I get my freedom. And I use that term loosely because I'm just hoping I'll still be able to walk the streets. At least for, like, a little walk would be great. Um... You know, because I've been, I've been a good little quarantine girl. I have stayed in my room, and uh, and I've made the most of my time. And I've been really grateful for the people who have been, uh, who have been supporting me, uh, including you. So uh, it's made uh, it's made this experience a lot easier, and allowed me to see my future in a little bit of a different way now. So. Okay, so this is a collective reading, and so I'm not going to necessarily do like a regular spread. I'm just kind of, kind of, uh, basically going to look at the focus. I'm going to look at the past, at what is obvious and what is hidden, and the future for what is obvious and what is hidden, and uh, yeah, clarify our focus as well. So let's see what happens with the cards. I'm kind of excited because. Um, tonight, everybody is meditating. I, you know, I tried to get in there, but it was, the, the energy was too much for me. So, um, I think we're all contributing in our own ways, uh, at this moment. So, I'm content with, uh, focusing on, um, on the collective in my own way. Uh, yeah, because the energies have been very different in the last 24 hours, and, and you know, so it's kind of the gate of the full moon is starting to open. All right, so for the collective, what will be our focus for the full moon? Right? That's not the... Ooh, interesting. So, um, this is our separation from one another. This is uh, defending ourselves um, and standing alone. We're, we're kind of all being forced to see where we stand with ourselves and others and our community. So, uh, very interesting. So in the past, I'm gonna lay down the cards and then turn them over. As we go. So, uh, you know, please feel free to add in the comments, um, you know, the dynamics that you've been experiencing. If you've been noticing shifts in energy, uh, you know, uh, it's always it's always good to share, and we we have the opportunity to do that now. I think we need to to uh, take advantage of that. All right, so the past leading up to this situation, I'm going to save the under part of that for later. Um, it's obvious. <laughs> I think we're all feeling a little betrayed. Um, and, you know, I think everybody's mood has been, has been really great. Uh, you know, people have been um, very mature for the most part. I mean, we've, we've, we've seen in the news a few examples of people who are, who are not quite, um, who are separating out from it. All experiences are valid, all choices are valid. Uh, so what's obvious is that it's like, what the hell happened, right? Ah, uh, oh, terror, terror, terror. What's hidden is that it's the Seven of Swords. 
So this is lies and deception. There's no, there's no mincing that one. I mean, I don't like that card as a Scorpio, you know, especially when we're looking at, at relationship readings. If the Seven of Swords comes up, it's like, ah, I'm out. <laughs> so um, in the future, what will be the obvious dynamic? And that is that we have learned that in some shape or form, up until this point anyway, that maybe we're a little more self-sufficient than we had given ourselves credit for. So that's good news. We will definitely delve deeper though. And then what isn't obvious about the future is that there's, there's something very loving um, that, uh, that, you know, I mean, a lot of people have been saying that they've been kind of taking their self-care to a whole new level. They've been learning, learning how to take care of themselves better through this experience than, than through anything else. So, um, I am going to clarify with the right of weight. Um, just put like one or two cards on me. So... Let's take a look at the center card. Yeah. So here's the world. That's a good clarifier. So we're all in this together. We're all feeling these dynamics. Um, is it the end of the world as we know it? Well, it might be the end of the old, uh, which by the looks of it may not be such a bad thing. So, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of mixed messages. And for the most part, I think a lot of us need to adjust our perspective on exactly what we think is bad and what we think is good. You know, because it's amazing how, how we might have, have a certain set of circumstances that is really painful. But on the other side of it, it's like, oh, okay, I understand that. And I'm really kind of glad that I went through that. You know, even though it was painful. So, I want to take a look at the Ten of Swords. The Collective. Ah, okay. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? So, to clarify the Ten of Swords, I got the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is what's obvious in terms of the future. So, it's like, it could be that some of us are feeling financially betrayed, generally. Uh, we've got the King of Swords, so this is about truth, um, intelligent conversation, boundaries, all of these things. Um... Let's have another card on the Ten of Swords, please. And maybe, maybe this is part of our lesson, is to learn that we, we don't need to depend on other things. Whatever that is for you. King of Cups further clarifies it. So... You know, it's, uh, there's a strength in vulnerability now that I don't think many of us have really given ourselves and each other credit for. Um, you know, uh, and our perception of vulnerability definitely needs to change. Um, I wanted to throw another card on the Seven of Wands. And, you know, it's, it's the Five of Swords, like, a, a lot of us are kind of feeling impotent, you know? Uh, you know, it's like, um, you know, the rage that, that people will express on Facebook that uh, essentially means nothing to, to anyone, doesn't really change the situation, it just upsets people, you know? Um, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting off of this card, uh, this sort of the lack of control that that we have at this point is frustrating 
Yeah, Ten of Wands. So, but it it is firing up a lot of people. I know it's definitely fired me up, and no judgment towards those who haven't been, you know, so-called productive. You know, there's been a there's been a really good meme that's been floating around that's basically saying, you know, if you haven't got your side hustle, you know. And then, it, you know, it's like, well, then you lose your opportunity. But that part struck struck out and somebody added, you know, that's perfectly fine. It's a traumatic experience that all of us are going through. So, you know, take it easy, kind of deal. Don't worry. You know, you're doing just fine. But there are some people who are feeling defeated and some people who are feeling inspired. Um, and, uh, and there's probably people who are oscillating between both dynamics. And that, you know, this is what happens when, when, uh, when, we, when we come to the end of a cycle. Uh, you know, it's very much, you know, and, and how it's the beginning, the transition phase to a new cycle, you know, in the same way that, um, you know, that, that when, a, when a woman gives birth to a child in, in labor, you know, I know for myself, it was like, you know, there's there's sometimes a period in that where you're just about to push and you're like no I I, I don't want to do this anymore you know and and irrational stuff <laughs> comes up and and you want to back out so I think that I think that the collective is going to be doing that for a while it's going to be it's going to be a delicate dance so here I go I'm going to go clarify the seven of swords this is my least favorite card I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here with me. Okay, so... Chariot. Um, agenda. <laughs> and I think, I think all of us have seen enough YouTube videos out there. Where, you know, lots of people are talking about all sorts of stuff. I don't want to talk about it here in detail because, you know, that's not the point of this channel. Um, plenty of other folks out there doing it for me. So, uh, I leave you with that discernment. Um, yeah, it's like, where are we going? <laughs> it's like, obviously, we're going somewhere. Uh, what is happening, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's judgment. I don't think life's ever going to be quite the same. Just my feeling. Doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's bad, though. Yeah, it's uh, so. This is what I mean. It's like there's an agenda. Uh. A decision's been made, and we got our little Judgment Day card there. And then we have the Hangman, which I view as Surrender. And when we're in Surrender, this is where we become enlightened. This is like kind of, you know, um, the, the, the Hermit's little brother in terms of enlightenment and, uh, and insight. So this is kind of where we're at. But, you know, here we go, like, with the Seven of Swords, and this is what's clarifying it, right? Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Did not see you operate in. Um, so there, for those. But, you know, on the other side of that, in terms of what's hidden in the future, is the Ace of Cups. So this is, like, love. And for the collective... I'd say that's that's a pretty nifty card. This suggests that, you know, that 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 in our in our vulnerability, that we're actually going to possess the ability to to be more loving. 
That's pretty cool. But it doesn't look like that, does it? And this is what I mean. Our, our perceptions are, are shifting. Uh, our world will change because of a shift in our perception. Um, because, it, you know, I mean, the streets are still out there just because we can't walk on them, you know, so, so nothing's changed. It's not like tomorrow we're going to walk out the door and everybody's going to be a fly car, you know, or whatever. Yeah, so... Um, I think that as we all learn to be self-sufficient, the people who are still caught up in the fear and the betrayal and the anger are going to be expressing it in this way. So I, you know, I think it'd be naive for us to think that this is not going to be a part of our equation somewhere. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's our end game though. And I think that that's what's, that's what's most important to remember. So, in terms of our self-sufficiency and what we're ooh, okay, success. So, and this one obviously wants to come out, and the ten of cups. Well, you know, this is going to be interesting. I'll be very interested to see how the full moon uh, emerges in light of these energies. So it's like at first people are going to be struggling with it. And then something is going to occur. And the whole community is going to be like super happy. And then it'll bring balance to our families. Fascinating. Right, is that three cards? I, oh, it's four. Okay, I'm going to take them all. So we've got, this is very interesting. So we've got, we've got temperance, so patience, and, uh, and staying cool, not losing it. You know, it's like we have more cards in here that support that people are actually um, a lot more involved than, than <laughs> again, than we've given people credit for. Uh, and I think that women are going to play a significant role um, in the hidden areas, you know, because uh, the, the masculine is still being affected by the patriarchy. I think that, I think we can all agree on that. And that, you know, there's going to be some struggle in the letting go of that. But I think that if women stay in a good place with men, in a very patient place with men right now, and allow them to find the divine masculine within themselves, that's what's going to help to keep the patriarchal energies at bay. It's very important for women to understand their role in hidden, you know? Because this is definitely, definitely the breakdown of the patriarchy. I think we all could agree on that. We just don't know what the repercussions are going to be of all of that. So, oh my God, isn't that fantastic? I love that. Double. If there was one card to get double in this reading, it needed to be this one. Fantastic. Okay. So, now that I've done that, I want to see what Marshall has to say. Because Marshall was referred to back in the 70s. Marshall McLuhan, Canadian thinker, professor, did cameos in movies like uh, Annie Hall. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. Uh, and I credit what I've learned about Marshall McLuhan I, to Bob Dobbs, of course. Uh, but what I've learned from Marshall, uh, 
has possibly saved my life and helped me stay sane through many, many, many things in the last 20 years. So let's see what feels right in terms of a card. I think definitely the central issue. And thank you, Marshall. Oh, I got two. Okay. So we have the three of spades. <laughs> okay. So this one says Fulton Steamboat anticipated the miniskirt. We don't have to wait for the wind anymore. And then we also got the Six of Hearts, which I could equate to um, uh, to the Six of Cups. And I was talking to a friend about uh, about this card in tarot today. I get a lot of people who will just message me and say, "Hey, Andy, you know, can you can you help me out with my little tarot spread that I did?" And I'm like, "Sure, whatever." So this one says. So it's the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is, um, is a lovely card um, in the tarot. Um, and, uh, and it speaks to reunions uh, with important people from our past, whether that be a soulmate from a previous life, if you really want to go there, um, to, you know, like your best friend in kindergarten, to kids in high school that are now going to help you, uh, you know, do something really cool in your career um, and and to like the perfect kind of soulmate partner um, but like emphasizing like the more magical twinkly joyful blissful stuff so this one says visual for the perf for perfect knowledge the Englishman says I know it like the back of my hand so we're talking about tactility there. Fulton Steamboat anticipated the miniskirt. See, part of part of why I can't necessarily that why I'm not necessarily the best interpreter um, for these things is because I don't have um, an education in literature, um, and I just kind of wait for it to sort of you know the patterns. That's what I love. Uh, about about this sort of thing. Um, so if anyone wants to offer any insight on that, you're free to post it in the comments below. And I think those are the only two cards I will pull from the distant early warning deck. Created in 1969 by Marshall Nuclear. There's the little case you can see. It's a collector's item. One of my favorite uh, favorite, not only um, uh, McLuhan uh, items, but also one of my favorite card decks. And for the final card, I'm going to pull Ola Normand, so that there's a nice happy three dimensions to these things. I love to do things in threes. And there we go. Uh, this is Bouquet. So this is like an offer, and this is um, this is like the page of swords. So it's about truth. It's about um, it's about uh, dialogue and conversation and offers. So I think we're being offered a golden opportunity uh, to really step into who we really are, as opposed to what the patriarchy has been trying to tell us we should be. And thank you very much, Leonardo, we got the store. This is a whole new beginning. It's just disguised as a big scary one. So I think that's all I want to say about that. I want to wish you all the best for this full moon on April 7th. It's in Libra, so it's going to be focusing on relationships primarily. Um, and uh, I will have up by the full moon, I will have short little reads uh, for each sign, specifically tailored for each sign. So please join me again, and if you find that this reading has resonated for you or 
any of the stuff that I have posted has resonated for you, please subscribe to my channel because I my goal is to get a thousand as soon as possible so I can go live so we can actually talk together. All right. Thanks for joining me.